right, we're going to take a look at tying a VT prusik versus an XT versus kind of a modified XT. One thing I will say is we're using a 7 mil, then we'll show you an 8 mil, but we're putting it onto our host rope, which is going to be an 8 millimeter. So a lot of times, a lot of the rules that we've learned about having your prusik V two thirds of diameter kind of goes out the window a little bit when we start getting into using Clem highs, multi wrap heatings, and VTs because we can make these work on larger ropes than what we think. So just looking at the typical VT, I'm going to show you the way that we typically do it. You're going to need to play around with your rope and whatever VT prusik you're using. This is a Technora, Technora. Uh, this is really new. This is a little bit worn. All those things make a difference. So you need to play around, tinker with your stuff, make sure you got the right thing for the weight that you're going to be putting onto it. So VT typically. You'll see people go three, four wraps up. We typically do two full wraps. And at that point, I'm gonna try and get the ends of this somewhat even. Now, I keep this really tight. When I do that, each one of my X's are gonna be tight too. A VT, that top one comes down and then gets captured by the bottom. That's what locks it into place. So this is what you're seeing on your traditional VT. At this point, we're going to do a French braid so they will be alternating because this one right here is on top. It's going to go around first. That way it's on the bottom on the back side. This one's on top on the back, so it'll come around first. So it'll stay that same position. So each time my one on my right is going to go around first, my one on my left will capture it. One on my right will come around first, one on my left will capture it. And you keep going down like that. I could probably get one more in there, but we'll call it a day right there. Your carabiner will then go through both your eyelets, put this up, and that is your VT. VT, XT, and, and the modified XT are the only ones that release under load. So even while waiting this, take a couple fingers, we usually are right here, let go, and it grabs. Some of the issues that people run into sometimes with the VT is it may grab a little bit tight. If you're looking at where that interaction is between the top and the bottom, you see that that constricts and collapses in pretty tight. So on the XT, some people say the XT grabs better. We, we find the XT is more reliable, but it gives us a smoother release than we sometimes get with the BT when we waited a whole bunch. So same start off point here. I go two wraps up. You may want to go three wraps. You may want to go four wraps. Two wraps is, is typically where we go. Now, before when we did the VT, that is the way that it came around and that cross came. On the XT, traditional XT form, that bottom one is gonna go first, the top one will go over the top, and then you switch it and make your X. So as soon as that comes up, bottom one comes under, top one goes over, and then we switch their positions. Now you tie it the exact same way. So those are gonna be crossing each time they go over. When you're tying this, don't tie these X's real loose. I keep them fairly tight as I'm going through there and keep tension on them. I try and get as many X's as I can on there and we'll kind of show you why. So on this one, feeds up, comes down, same thing with the two fingers. You just get a little bit different release feel on there. The reason I do as many X's as I can, I probably could have put an extra one on here, is my weight is weighting it from the bottom. So every time these cross and grab, cross and grab, cross and grab, that's where I want all my weight is on these crosses. And I don't want this to get so jammed up it's tight because that's what's going to make it hard to release. So the more X's that you get coming down here, the better. And lastly, and I'll kind of go into where these kind of form in here is don't really have a gap in there. When I start pushing that, you'll see that no air, no, uh, you can't really see through that area. So the modified seems to release a little bit easier, especially when we're using it, let's say in a pickoff situation where we're loading it really heavy with a person after putting them on a four to one. So the modified XT, start from the same position we did where we round the one on my right up two strands. So before on the XT, it went like this. We're going to do this one just like we do a VT. So it comes in just like this. And actually, let me straighten these out a little bit more. There we go. So just like we did on a VT, top one's going to come down, get captured by the bottom, and then we're going to make that X. So now, go back to the same as before. We're going to alternate that all the way down. I'm going to be keeping those X's pretty tight.
and then clip into it. What you're going to see now is although it's closed pretty good there, when I bend that down, we get a gap right through here. That's what gives us a little bit of ease. So even if this is tensioned really hard after weighting the crap out of that, you're still able to get a little bit of movement to break it and then get some smooth movement.